All right, so in the last video, what we did is, you know, we made our pop-up for our operator to be able to start the mixer motor with a start-stop manual button. Now, uh, what we did is we came in here and actually made it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, uh, you know, just kind of made it a little bit better and as far as this goes. And again, this does still does the start and it still does the stop. So if I press it, it holds and you can see it's changes states. And if I hit the stop button, it lights up as well. So I want to kind of go over, and again, we could still get this looking a whole lot better. I just figured it, you know, the trim matched the border. And, uh, you know, as far as this goes, it, it just kind of matched a little bit. Now, what would make it look even better is I'll show you. <clears throat> so I come in here and I go down to these controls. And you can hear that it actually is turning on the drive like it was. So, um if we come in here we can open this up and go to displays and if we go to displays we can open up the title bar or our tell the title bar to come on and then let's see we'll tighten this up just a little bit make sure the screen is right I don't I want to make sure that it aesthetically is is as good as it can be now um, then I'll save and the good thing about again SE is I come over here and do this again and now it pops up and shows this right so now it's movable like it was before so and, and even that looks a little bit better right so it, it really depends on how you want it to look and how you want it to feel how you want the interaction to be uh, meaning if you want the operator to be able to move it around um, and then you know be able to close it right so because you right now we have it popping up in one spot so if you don't have the checkbox popped up kind of like what we showed is if you don't have the checkbox right here popped up you know like like we showed right here the title of display now you can change the title to you can change it and call it uh, mixer motor uh, we'll call this manual manual mixer manual controls just call it manual controls that's perfectly fine and then we'll come up here and change this so if we didn't have that title bar up there and if you don't default the title or if you don't change if you don't have a name in the title bar what it does is it defaults to the actual page name so the page name again is uh, mixer uh, mixer manual controls so then we'll go back over here and we'll go over here pop that open now it says mixer our manual controls so you see and it, it even looks the even better than it did before uh, and that's just my opinion though right so a lot of you guys may think that's come you know may may look and feel however you want but uh, you know as far as that goes you may not may not like it I don't know so let's break down how I did this so I'm gonna zoom in I'm gonna expand and I'm gonna go back up here now as far as these these are just the same buttons I had before I just changed the uh, up appearance right here I use I came out here and check this box and this little uh, this little checkbox down here it basically checked it and then it says use the image ref uh, reference so whatever image you deem to use in this case I came up here and opened up my library and in the library I just said the launch library and then it came up here and picked one of these right really really simple the key to this is is if you come over here and you do this right here you would copy and then you would paste from library and that way it puts it in your your actual you know queue to be able to be used right now um, going with that said I'm not gonna actually do that I'm gonna keep it the way it was and now you can actually and then the the second cool part about this is you actually can change the scaling of the image the way it looks so uh, the default images come up and pre-scaled so if you don't have this checkbox then it will actually not work properly right meaning if I come over here and change that you see the way that looks now it it doesn't really look right that good right so now if I come over here and I check the scale image then it looks good so the same thing uh, applies when and let me see if I can get right back on that button uh, the same thing applies on the up so this is the up button is basically the non illuminated so the red button off or it would be the green button off whatever the case may be and this the down state would be 
the red button on. So this would be the one that we chose to be on. And again, you can launch the library. Once you have them in there, you don't have to do them again, but you can choose whichever one of these you want, right? And you can choose up or down or whatever you want to. So it, it all depends on how you want the button to look, right? We could have used these buttons. Uh, the, the, the portion of how you want it to look and feel is completely up to you. We could have just utilized these buttons right here and had it look completely different. Now, I kind of like the, the fact of it has the header bar or it has the, uh, the top header so that I can put a text in there. So now I will tell you a little trick to that is I use the text from a separate text, not the text in there. I, I actually made, I came up here and did this, the uh, objects and did a drawing and did a text right here. So that's the way I did that to kind of get it looking and feeling exactly the way I wanted it to. So just to kind of give you a highlight and, and every one of these are just layers, just different type of layers, right? So this would be a layer uh, the panel would be a panel, right? It's just a simple panel and I have multiple layers. This is another panel and I have multiple layers. So this one is blue. Again, I could change I could change that color if I wanted to, if I wanted to change it to like a weird, uh, or not a weird, but a different color like this. If I wanted to change it to that, I could. And let's just change that and watch. I can easily go in here and now if I launch it, it'll be this big because we sized it that way so that's the negative side to that is watch so it, this is the point that I want to kind of highlight so you see how big it is right now if I come over here and do this save like this because we have the checkbox down here as size um, use current size right being that we have that it used that current size that we had which was full so we want to make this the right size so we just save go back over here and pop that open just like that so now it looks like this right so really depends on the way you want it to look and feel um, I kind of like the, the dark blue uh, because this doesn't really match anything and I'm trying to really kind of match the way things look so now I'm going to come back in here I can go over here to this panel if I want to and change it here and use the dark blue. I need to make sure I do both of them. So this is the dark blue again. And we'll use that. Come over here, save that. And go back over here, close this, and open it one more time. And now it's back to the dark blue. Actually, that's, that looks a little bit lighter color. I think that's a lighter shade. So let's change that. Let's change this one more time go over here and get this correct I think it's this one I do believe it is that one so um, and it doesn't you really it's really really hard to tell but that's that matches this color right here right you could have got a pixel uh, color matcher and stuff like that but again I'm just trying to aim to, to make them kind of look and feel the same way and, and get kind of a theme color if you would so Again, you can do this a million different ways. The point of it is, is how things work and how things are interpreted. So I wanted to at least give you a way to do it and a way to go back and make it look better really, really quick and easy. Um, again, we had some kind of just, we just threw some buttons together and made it involved in there. So now we have it where we can move it around. We have uh, these buttons over here that will start the motor. And we can come back and add our controls for our, our actual uh, speed reference and, and put that speed reference up here as well. But again, um, what I'll do is on the next video, I already have the pre, uh, speed reference in there as the percentage. I'll just do it just like I did the flow meters and just like we did uh, everything else. So we're gonna start adding the, some more controls on here to, to show how these things work. So if this were to, let's just cut that off, cut that off and um, if this were to stay on like that, again, we, we can have controls in there to, to make sure the system is completely in automatic before we start. But uh, we'll come back and actually go back and uh, just want to show you how to how these controls all went together because it's really important to when you're making a screen on how you want it to interact and how you should want it to work for the operator and get the best user ability, right? So user friendly is going to be the best way to go, whether it's on the first and foremost for the operator, secondly 
for us as programmers and troubleshooters and engineers we definitely want to keep it user friendly as far as that goes too if it is possible first and foremost the operator user friendly so uh, when it goes to that if you, as long as you do that you will always be successful you will always you know get your uh, you know everybody will love you the work that you're doing because again when it comes down to it it's user friendly and that is the hardest part about automation is making it user friendly and look make you know making it look good is again takes time and takes effort and stuff like that but user friendly is where it's really going to turn that that extra page and make the difference for you so hopefully that was a a, a good um, you know video for you to, to just understand what we did again I'm just every time I want to make an edit I want to make sure that I pass that on to you and uh, we'll continue on to the very next one so we'll see you guys there